So um, I'm going to just go ahead and jump into a uh, case study. Um, and I'm sorry that I can't answer questions during the presentation, but just kind of hold them till the end, and then, and then I'll go through them all um, just because we're so full today. So if we go, so the first case study is, um, is actually <laughs> Veil Tech. So we run on QuickBase, obviously. I don't think I'll ever run a business again that doesn't run on QuickBase. Um, and I think it's a good example of a good, um, from sales all the way through production, all the way to support, all the way through billing. Um, and it actually has portions of client portal and partner portal um, type elements in there. I think that that's a good example to kind of to, to give you guys an idea of what QuickBase is. So I'm going to go ahead and switch screens here and give you a look at QuickBase. Just give me one second. Okay. Um, are you guys able to see, you should see a screen that says Intuit QuickBase at the top, and it has um, a sign back in. Yeah, okay, good. So essentially, when you go into QuickBase, right, you're going to sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my user, username and login. Um, and what you'll see when you come into QuickBase is, you can have multiple applications. Um, you know, I, I probably have quite a, I have a, a few on my dashboard just because I'm working on some applications with other clients. Um, but we've actually seen, I've seen at large enterprises, um, I've seen them have hundreds of applications that are being used across multiple departments. Um, and what you'll do is you, you go into a specific application. So this is the Veil Tech application. This is essentially what Veil Tech uses to that what we use to run our whole business. Um, so if you look up here, um, the first thing you have when you come into QuickBase is you have what's called a dashboard. And these dashboards are really kind of the jumping off place for anybody using QuickBase. Um, so each person when they come into QuickBase, they are going to see their dashboard that's been specifically developed for their security role, so somebody in their position. So somebody like me who has to keep their eye on every of every piece of our business, you know, I'm going to have on my dashboard maybe some tasks related to a project. I also have on my dashboard all of my sales follow-ups that I need to make with people. Um, I also have on the dashboard because I want to keep track of, we use um, it for ticketing, so we have clients that come in and add support tickets. Um, I want to keep track of what our open tickets are, so I have that on my dashboard. Um, you know, I want to look at recent documents added to the system. Um, I want to look at uh, revenue outlook. Uh, by the way, I obscured all these numbers before this presentation, so um, you know this is not real. But I want a dashboard that shows you know what is my cash flow going to be each month. What are what's the revenue outlook for each month? Um, what is um, you know how much time are people billing and to what projects? You know. Um, and what are we actually billing per month? You know, that's something that's important to me. So that's something that that we develop for us, and we keep a knowledge base in here of just information about QuickBase, about different projects, some of our marketing materials, our style guides, etc. So, um, but if somebody else logs in, and this is what's kind of cool about QuickBase, is we have a partnership program where we have partners who kind of send us leads and we give them a percentage of the lead um, or of the first project whenever they send us a lead. So if a partner logs into our portal or into our QuickBase application, they see something totally different. They see this. This is what the uh, partner's dashboard looks like. They come in, they see an easy button to add a lead, place to view benefits, a place to view sales pipeline. Um, they see how many leads they've ever provided us, and they see maybe how many, how much benefits we've paid out to them for those leads, essentially. Um, and they can dig into that even more. You know, they could see, okay, um, this is how we like to call it money in your pocket, right? This is how much we've paid to them to date. You know, this is what's in progress, and this is what we're trying to sell that they sent us, you know? Um, so a partner sees something different. Whereas we have developers, not not to beat not to beat a dead horse, 
um, but we have developers that kind of log into QuickBase. Um, so somebody who isn't looking at, after the whole health of the whole business, but somebody who's just completing tasks on our projects, they log in as a, as, when they log in, they log in as a developer, and this is all that they see. They see almost nothing. They see what are my open tasks today to complete, and they mark them done when they're complete. So um, that's, that's kind of one of the cool things about security roles is you can really kind of focus the attention of an application to a specific user, um, and that's what's good about architecting an application directly to what a client needs. Um, I would show you the customer role. There's also a customer role, but I'm, I just want to keep um, good on time. But we have a customer role where our customers come in and just add support tickets. That's all they do. They can add support tickets and they can see the progress of their projects. And they have no access to anybody else's projects, that's their own stuff. So it's kind of the power of security roles and, and it's all up over the internet so everybody can access it. We're not double entering data, we're all entering data into the same system and everybody's just viewing it in a different way um, for that. And to tell you the truth, because we knew exactly what, I always get the question whenever I demo our own app, they're like, how long did that take you to build? Um, we built this because we are, this is what we do, we build QuickBase applications. <laughs> But, uh, and we knew exactly what we needed, but we, put, we had this up and running in three weeks, you know, completely up and running, clients in, doing business within, within this whole thing. Um, so once you get good in QuickBase and you understand your business process or you hire somebody who knows QuickBase and you help tell them your business process, um, you can have some pretty powerful results very, very quickly. Um, so, so to just kind of dig into this application a little bit more, just to give, give an idea of how uh, a lead, I usually get asked, okay, so in this application, we're managing the whole pipeline from sale all the way down through to invoicing clients and then the quick bit in the QuickBooks. So how does that look? Well, for us, it looks different than maybe another company, but this is how our process looks. We usually meet somebody at some sort of event um, and we essentially add them into our QuickBase application. Uh, whether you realize it or not, when you signed up for this event or webinar, um, you actually added yourself into our QuickBase application, <laughs> into our contact list, you know. So, you know, I'm going to name this guy, um, like, Matheny, okay. Any, I don't know if there's any Cardinals fans, but I'm a Cardinals fan, so he's the new manager of the Cardinals. And let's say he's from ABC Enterprises, you know. I could say where I met, the, met him at, we put email, we usually put in an email address because it's pretty easy to, to send kind of a mass email out through QuickBase, but it's also, you can integrate if you want more with something like Constant Contact and use this list as your Constant Contact list. Um, you know, so once we have somebody there, um, essentially I add a new lead in. When I go to my dashboard, remember that name, Matt, Mike Matheny, when I go to my dashboard, he pops up on my sa on my sales follow up so I may not even enter this. It may be somebody else, like an admin, entering this for me, and then all of a sudden I see, okay, I have somebody I have to follow up with. So I may give him a call. I may fill out a sales note saying uh, he wants a big project, you know, and I may say, okay, wow, he's good, and he looks like he's he's a hot lead, and I want to do a follow up. I want to follow up with this guy, you know. He's so hot, I want to follow up with him, you know, maybe maybe tomorrow with an email. You know, so I put that in and I go, oh wow. Okay, tomorrow, um, when I go into my dashboard and kind of look at my things to do for that day, my sales follow up. You know, there he is, you know. I need to um follow up with Mike Matheny um from ABC Industries and Enterprises. So um and how that, what will eventually happen if it's a good thing is we will use that information and we will create a project with him. So we will convert his lead into an actual project and start tracking it that way. Um, I don't want to bore you with data entry. Um, so I pre-filled, yes, this is a demo. I pre-filled out um, what one of our projects typically look like. So by the time we go through our whole pipeline, our whole sales process, um, give me one second. 
So by the time we've gone through our whole our whole sales process and we go to a project, this I start this ABC Enterprises is a complete demo project. So it's a shameless demo piece. Um, so by the time we go into a project and everything's been completed, look, we have a whole history of sales notes that people that our salespeople have taken. You know, you can see our pools, another cardinal. Um, you know, every every meeting they've had with him. Um, we also have, and they're doing this, and they don't even realize it. They think they're just scheduling themselves to do to follow up, but really they're keeping notes uh, on the whole sales project. Um, you know, um, you know, we're tracking the milestones when things are being billed. Um, pretend this this project is active. You know, we're tracking our time against the project, and we're tracking documents against the project. Um, and we're also using this to develop our scopes, scopes and quotes. So. You can see here, um, not to get into our process, but we've essentially developed a scope um, throughout the sales process. Our sales guys will come in and add features to the project, and it, it's what drives the scope of the project, and it leads to tasks that are then set to be completed. The cool thing is, is if a client logs in, essentially, I'm going to pretend that I'm going to set it up like, like I'm a customer. So this customer, as soon as he, our process is, as soon as they start to become, look like they're going to be a closed project, uh, we let them into our portal. And what they see is when they come into QuickBase, one second, there we go. So let's pretend I'm now a customer from ABC Enterprises, and I want to go look at my project. All that they see is essentially they see the scope. There we go. Okay, when a customer logs in, they essentially see a whole different view of the project. They see maybe who the team is. They may see the scope, the project scope. The coolest thing that we put up is we put up a work plan. So as we're signing out tasks to get the project complete itself, um, it is actually developing the work plan um, that the client sees. Because we get that all the time. I want to see a Gantt chart of what when each part's going to be completed. So we're just going through our normal process of assigning stuff out to, to, our, to our developers, et cetera. And it, in real time, it's updating the work plan that they can then log in and see. And they can log in and see where we're at with our milestones. And they can come in and see you know, material related to, um, to their project, the signed SOW, the, maybe some we call it a data entity map, maybe some, some training material. We, we typically will post training material that they can use our content. So it's really creating this lean process where we're, we have one straight data flow from sales all the way through to billing. And from there, um, the client's just viewing that in a way that, that makes more sense to them. So that's really kind of the gist of the Veiltech application. We built a lot of applications like this that are essentially managing a company's sales all the way through project delivery, whatever that looks like to them. And it usually looks quite a bit different than this. Um, this is this application would really only look at some. So people are like, can you reuse applications? Well, sort of. If you're a company um, like ours that uses that is in software development that uses agile software development uh, techniques, um, then yes, you could probably get a lot of use out of our application. Oh, that does fixed bid projects. <laughs> you could probably get a lot of use of our application. But if you're an accounting firm, no, you're, you're not going to get a whole lot of use. Or if you're in the technology firm and you don't use agile, agile development um, processes, 